check. <coughs> Hello everyone. So as you guys know, the result of FMG December 23 or January 24 was declared and the result was 20% passing. So I wish congratulations to all those who passed the exam and may you have a very good future ahead. But those who were not able to, uh, but for those who were not able to clear the exam this time or missed by a little margin, you don't have to worry. I have got a study plan for you for FMG June 24 because I am also an FMG and I have noticed many of the students don't know how to prepare and they just get very confused from different sources. So here I would like to say, Sabse pehle aapko gabrana nahi hai. Himmat rakho, be strong and believe on yourself. If you believe on yourself, you can do it, you will definitely make it happen. So first of all, I will make you differentiate the subjects in this exam. There are total 19 subjects in our exam. In the Out of those 19 subjects, there are major, intermediate and minor subjects. For major subjects, you have basic subjects, which is anatomy, biochem, pathology, microbiology and pharmacology. These subjects are must know. You can't do further study in your exam without knowing these five subjects. Okay, So these subjects you must have to do. Then there are the subjects medicine, surgery, PSM and ob which are the scoring subjects. What do you mean by scoring subjects? These subjects have 25 to 40 marks each in the exam uh, on an average. So there is 120 marks and you have to get only 150 out of 300. So 120 marks are in these subjects. So these are the biggest scoring subjects. Then in the intermediate subjects, you have ophthalmology, ENT, pediatrics and forensic. These subjects are very up and down and mostly 8 to 10 marks are given by these subjects. So these are like loot subjects. If you do this, there is nearly 40 marks in these four subjects. And then there is minor subjects, orthopedic, anesthesia, radiology, dermatology. Physiology is very important subject, but I consider it a minor subject because you know, on the hardcore physiology questions are only two or three questions in this exam. Other uh, topics are covered in your medicine and uh, pharmacology, yeah, which are related to physiology and psychiatry. So all these 19 subjects, now I will teach you how to study for the exam. So first of all, the result of FMG 23 December was declared on 6th February. Many have tough result. So you all had your rona dona, duk dard, pida, sadness, tough life. It's okay, it happens. It is fine to fail the exam. There is no nothing very big you have done. It happens with everyone. So after that, all the week of getting sad, you have to now restart. Restart from the Valentine's Day, which is on 14th February. Start loving yourself start uh, preparing for this exam like you want to crack it anyhow so for, for for the first as i said basic subjects you can start like anatomy and biochem revision videos you can start watching it from revision videos and do main question bank both subjects you have to do five hours a day each subject five hours a day so that is 10 hours a day study only 10 hours a day okay it is very simple, you can do it and this is minimum required, trust me. You have to study for this exam. In the question bank, you have to solve at least 60 MCQ per day. You have to practice MCQ. Without practicing MCQ, you cannot go in this exam. So for from 14th to 20th, you can do anatomy and biochem. Then for next five days, you can do pathology and microbiology revision videos and the question bank. And the next four days, you have to finish pharmacology. So by the end of February, you have already finished the five base subjects. Five base subjects are done. After that, you have to revise the notes. So also many people don't know how to study the subject. I would tell you to while watching revision videos, keep the notes behind beside like PDF notes or if you have printed notes, then mark the important lines in that uh, while you are watching the video. Okay. So that when you, uh, at the revision time, you have to watch that topics. Now, so from the 1st of March, you have to do anatomy and biochem notes revision. These basic subjects need revision. There, there is like so much of mugging up. You have to revise it once. Okay, so until 10th of March, you have to finish these five subjects. And from 11th of March, you can start medicine and ENT, like uh, one of the scoring subject and one of the loot subject. 4-4 four, four in each so you can give one week so you will not also get bored and you can finish two subjects at a time so medicine ENT surgery and ophthalmology ob and pediatrics like one week each you have to watch the revision videos and question bank 
and PSM and forensic medicine. So like in, in these four weeks, you have to finish these uh, four scoring subjects and four load subjects, division and question banks. Uh, and yes, in revision videos, you get majority of the topics which, uh, which are asked in the exam. But if you don't understand something or you want to know the basic of that uh, topic, you have to go and watch the main videos. So after that, from 8th to 14th of April is a bonus week. Like there are some days where you don't like to study or like you have missed the uh, topics uh, in these subjects. You have to finish those and you have to give your first grand test. Yes, grand test is very important. But in, uh, remember, giving a grand test is as much important as much as reviewing the grand test. If you don't review your mistakes from this grand test, you have you, there is no use of giving it. So after giving the grand test, uh, you have to finish the remaining small subjects or minor subjects which are like 2 to 5 marks each and you have to only do PYQ videos don't even need rapid revision videos or if you have wish you can do rapid revision but I would suggest first do PYQ videos and then solve question banks of these subjects and if you want to do more just do rep revision videos so ortho anesthesia, radioderma and physiology psychiatry you have to finish these six, six subjects in the next two weeks and there will be bonus five days and you have to give second grand test and again review the grand test so by uh, end of April, April 30, you have finished all your 19 subjects. Can you imagine? All 19 subjects, two times grand test you have given. And you have almost done the revision of your basic subjects. Revision of basic subjects also done. Right? So after in the month of May, you have only two months left for the exam. So this is now only revision phase in this one you don't have to learn start learning new things you have to revise what you have already studied in the past the daily study hours must go beyond 12 hours in this phase you have to do is solve pyqs which is previous year questions you have to solve the question banks which are uh, having previous year questions and make 20th copy what is a 20th copy in 20th copy you can just uh, simply write uh, one liners like I will give you example, uh, like I will give you example, like I will give you a, an example, investigation of choice for appendicitis. In pediatrics it is uh, USG, in adults it is uh, CT scan. Uh, like if you have read Peutz-Jagger syndrome, what is the gene causing Peutz-Jagger syndrome? That is STK11. Then, I will. For example, pure orange, where can we see pure orange? Inflammatory carcinoma of the breast. These are some examples of one-liners which you can make while studying this and make your 20th copy. Okay. So these are the division like medicine, surgery, PSM and OB-GYN you have to do first because that were the last subjects you did. So uh, simultaneously you will revise these subjects. Then patho, microbiology, pharma, anatomy. This is your already third time doing these basic subjects and these, they, trust me, these are very important subjects you get 12 to 18 marks of questions from these subjects, all right? Then we have pediatrics, ENT, ophthalmology, and all this uh, loot subjects. And then at the end of the month of May, you have to give third grant test and review it as always. So review this grant test, and you have already finished uh, second revision of these subjects. When you enter into the month of June, you have already done revision two times. And now your study hours should start 13 to 14 hours. Um, this is this will be called your ultra revision phase in the month of June. What you have to revise majorly? You have to revise the scoring subjects that is medicine, surgery, PSM, and OB-GYN. You have to revise the loot subjects. You have to revise your 20th copy, the one-liners. You have to uh, revise, study it uh, all day, and you have to watch the YouTube live. This YouTube live is very very important. Uh, there is MIST 25, PrEP letter, uh, last re resort revision, Dr. Marwa does live, Goga search live, talk tutorials live, BTR live and any other. I am not saying you have to do all of them, but you have to watch the subjects which you feel are weaker for you and revise the ultra topics. Sometimes you can, uh, and you don't have to watch it live, just watch it after the live ends at 1.5 or 2x. Don't waste your time going and sitting in the live stream and typing answers there. You have to under understand the exam patterns and focus on the topics discussed. Sometimes the topics which are discussed in these live streams uh, can give you example how the exam will be. Don't just uh, if you are like if you are doing miss 25, don't just do those 25 questions. 
listen to the explanation of the sir and try to study those topics those are very important ones for the exam if you know what i mean then in this uh, last month you have to give one grand test per week and review that grand test so like five grand four grand test you will you can go they give every sunday uh, so that is four more grand tests so in total you have given already seven grand tests which is more than enough for this exam and in the last two weeks i will suggest you you have to start study and solving questions according to the exam timings like in the morning 9 to 1 you have to solve mcqs and in afternoon 2:30 to 4:30 practice your brain to solve mcqs in those timings it is very very important to make your brain work because some people you know are studying late in night or study whole night and sleeping in the daytime you have to change your sleep cycle you have to take proper meals according to the exam timing so you know don't feel hungry at the time of exam you have to stay healthy and i would suggest avoid social media so there are many people who will give you like hey we we will give you short short questions for this much money they all are frauds there is no extra way of passing this exam okay you have to just study work hard and then go on june 30 and attack on this exam so make sure to solve all the questions and study properly and the main focus on this exam should be revision at least 20 revisions and practicing mcqs will make your brain train how to you know uh, solve the questions this exam is mostly one liners you have to just pick up the main words and study those there are hardly 300 to 400 topics from which the exam is coming so if you finish that you will definitely pass this exam i cleared my exam from this same strategy and i wish you all the best